Wild 94.9. Um, so you said that you have zero you time, which I feel really bad for you. Everybody needs a break. No, I just I just did. Actually, yeah, I was on a holiday for a week. You, you okay, see good. me at my best possible time. Okay. <laughs> I'm just a little jet lag because I just arrived from 16 hours of flight, like oh. right now. But uh, nice. um, but uh, other than that, yeah, I'm I'm in good shape now. If good. you saw me ten days ago, oh my god, <laughs> you you guys would be scared, like really. <laughs> I was like green and dark circles like this, oh, terrible. No, we all have those days, especially yeah. when we fall asleep with makeup on. Like you don't want to see girl <laughs> the next morning. <laughs> but um, so the MTV European Music Awards are coming up in a couple weeks. Uh -huh. I know you're nominated in the uh, the best electronic category. Oh, is uh, this news to you? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Nobody tells you these things. <laughs> wow. I didn't know. That's crazy. <laughs> I was going to ask you if you were going to go to the awards, but um, did you even know that there was an award show coming up because you're so busy? <laughs> well, I tell you the truth. You know, what happened is I, re I really finished my album like eight days ago. So, like, no, oh, they, everybody knew they couldn't speak to me because I was going crazy. Like, because what happened is... I was supposed to give it a month ago, and then every time something would happen, and you know, it's like you're running like a, a, a race, like let's say you're running, I don't know, like 10,000 meters, and when you arrive, you see the arrival, so you give everything you it. have, Kay. and then yeah. they just push it back. And you're like, oh! That you know, like and bad that's dream. what happened five times. I was dying, oh, no. really. And and um, and one of the person that drove me crazy like this um, was Sia. But <laughs> I can't we wait made to hear the like story. a last, last, last minute record. Like we stopped. The the record was at the factory, about to you know be pressed. Mm -hmm. And she called me and she was like, I want to change everything. I'm like, no, please, please don't do this to me. You know, I Can was they like, do I that? Was dying. It's, it's yours, isn't and, it your and, song? Like, yeah, but I mean, we do it together. Plus we have a relationship with her and she's so amazing. I really like, mm -hmm. I really listen to her because she really yeah. has an amazing ear too. And she redid the whole song and she was right. And the song is really next level now. So, um, yeah, so everything was for the best, but it's been like a hard process to finish the album. And that's why I was like saying to my team and my label, like, don't speak to me about anything. I just want to focus on this. <laughs> You're making me so never now, come out with an album. Now you're like, telling me those good news? Uh, I didn't even know. No, congratulations. Fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> The reason why I'm bringing up the MTV EMAs is because I know Nicki Minaj is on your new album. I'm going to get to all of that in a second. But she's actually going to be hosting the award show for the first time ever, first time oh, hosting. Wow. Um, how do you think she'll do? Oh, she's going to do amazing. Everything she does, she does amazing. Do you often feel like um, it's hard to focus on anything else when you're looking at her because you're so distracted by... <laughs> what do you think I'm going to say? No, but I... I have to tell you that's that's it's true. Like imagine <laughs> <laughs> this is what happened. The first time we worked together, um it was uh I think it was on Turn Me On. Um and I was really excited to meet her. Of course. And and I was like, do not look, do not look. <laughs> <laughs> Did you look? I promise, I promise. I was like because Especially like when I work with artists, you know, I really, it's like a different, I don't see them as women. I really see them as artists and we, it's yeah. like a work. And I was like, okay, but please. And I was focusing so much, you know. <laughs> then I opened the door, the first thing I did, of course. <laughs> it's terrible, right? Can I, is that I'm ashamed of myself, ever? but I have to admit it. So, Nicki Minaj on your album, listen, um, do we get the rapping Nicki or is it like the singing Nicki? Or both? There's a little bit of rap, but um, I, I love, you know, I think Turn Me On was probably one of her first experience singing on a record. And I, I love this. I yeah. think she's a great singer. Yeah. And um, I always love 
to uh, have something from an artist that is not the comfort zone, you know? Yeah. I think that that gives the most um, exciting results. Like, because uh, she's, I mean, of course she's an amazing rapper, but, you know, and she gives a little bit of this in, in the song that we have on the album, but uh, the song is Can't really wait. big. Yeah, it's, it's big. Who else is on this album? Um, uh, lots of people, uh, John Legend, uh, Sia, Mm, One Republic. Um, Is there anyone you haven't worked with yet? It's like <laughs> Nico and Vince. Let me think. I'm forgetting a lot. I'm sure. You're tired. That's okay. <laughs> so <laughs> his album Listen drops November 24th. Yes. Tell everyone to get it. Go get it. <laughs> there you go. Simple as that. All right, David Guetta, you will get some sleep. Sorry for dragging you out here. <laughs> you no, need no. rest. Uh, no, no, I'm fine. I'm fine. I have to. Um, I have to stay awake until at least 10 in the evening, because imagine, I'm a DJ, I cannot go to bed at 8. <laughs> what is this? That's for old ladies. <laughs> you are nowhere near an old lady. All right, well, thank you, David, again, for stopping by. Thank you by. very much. Thank you, everybody. Thank you.